that second game, getting really frustrated, hands coming out, like rolling his eyes. Mm -hmm. If you lose the mental battle against John, you don't stand a chance. Absolutely, and John never one to be phased as he moves on into Losers Finals, his potential revenge story as if you recall, Veeps was the one to put John in loser's side in winner's semis. Veeps has been playing on a tear tonight. I mean, Vita got rid of his bracket demon. Dill. So he's doing really good here. Well, I didn't still, still beat. This is loser's finals. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, my gosh. Still, what what is wrong with set. me? <laughs> my apologies, folks. I get rid of my bracket demon by losing <laughs> to them and going to play a different set. False sense of security. They're leveling up here. You can never you can never run away from your bracket team, and so they'll, they'll catch up to you eventually. You can drown them. Running from the past is a losing game. Oh! All right. Well, you know what? So Vich just has to grind. Uh, just has to do a little bit of RPG grinding. Get, get that level up. Yeah. Get those items. And then maybe they can take down Dill in a bracket reset. So we'll see right now as uh, Arsene now off the table for Beach, but he's been getting some fantastic Rebels guards we've seen tonight. Great back oh air, my gosh, no tech. Yeah, and that's seamless. not quite death yet, but it's going to be difficult. Yeah, and there we go. John taking advantage of every opportunity. Yeah, you just cannot be cannot be mashing disadvantage options in John's face. He's going to be scouting them out even this early on in the set. And that sort of conditioning is going to make uh, you know the the off stage play that much harder for Beats. It's just so slippery. John surviving till 153. Guns don't stop him. Akash doesn't stop him. Knives don't stop him. What can stop this fighting machine? I love that little weave from John to avoid a potential down air. But I just got to point out the the slippery low profile of Joker avoiding that sun salutation just by dashing. Yeah, John finally on their second stock. Arsene oh. out, able to pressure John in ways that they can't do without. John getting a little bit comfortable. <gasps> no wow. way! Lost their jump? That was 24%. I know. And, I mean, this is where we saw Beats get so much value in their winner semi set. Beats making edge guarding John numbers, something that is usually an impossible task, he's making it seem effortless tonight. It's the guns, man. You can run, but you can't outrun bullets. I mean, guns definitely help. Oh, I saw sliding forward tilts, jumping around, avoiding that back air, which has uh, killed so many men, so many women, All right. and so many people. This space back air put Beats off stage, but John not able to capitalize too much off of it. And here we go. This is where we've seen it once again. John off stage. Beats looking for these down guns. We're seeing John. No, actually going low again, and that is where Beats once again finding that same value. Yo, let's go. Thanks let's for the go, You want to know what the difference is between so, this survival? Beats and the. Vitz before where he has lost to John. Mm -hmm. Vitz's hair is longer. If your hair yeah, is longer, so you slightly. have more power. Yeah. That's not true. I go O2 all the time. Shh. Let me dream. <laughs> and together we ride into game two. What a song selection. Can we see John's second stock again? I I just want to... The one that just passed? Yeah, yeah. I, I just want to quick see what happens. And he's dead. There you go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So John bringing us right back. He's Mr. Small Battlefield himself. But this is where we saw all of Winter Semis and Beats pretty pretty much dominated that set. <laughs> now I do think that you know John has said before. I know we call him Mr. Small Battlefield, but John is like. I feel like you get the impression that I need small battlefield. I'm like, no, but it helps. Oh, no. He not, loves this stage. Not at all. All right, great dashing in. What do you think is going through Beats' mind as we're here in game two? Not often that you're ahead one game against Mr. Ooh. Numbers. I mean, not only one one game. I'm, well, you say it's not often that you're up a game against John, but this is not the first time for Beats tonight. 
Right, right. So I have to imagine he's feeling pretty good coming into this game too. Maybe a little nervous here, having uh, maybe... Ooh. History doesn't repeat itself, but it sure does rhyme. Oh, all right. John now at the ledge, trying to find his way through these quick back airs. Oh, Beats trying to control airspace here. Bait John into approaching, doesn't happen. Going way too low. Oh, oh I barely mean, makes it. You could see what John was trying to do there was use the hula hoop to break the tether off of Beats, but Beats wisely holding on to the low tether, making sure he doesn't get caught. Yes, what, what does happen sometimes, for those uh, wondering at home, is if your body is in the way of a tether grab, the tether will miss. All right, the deep breathing up air, now putting John in a stock lead. First time at this set. That's huge, Rebel Scar. All right, Rebel Scar oh coming God. up. But John firing right back, that's a lot of Rebel Meter gone. All right, beats at 68.6%. It, it's virtually 69, we'll yeah, give it to him. He's at a good number. All right, John on the second stock. Beats trying to force him to get up. Finally gets up. It's a re-grab. Never mind. Nope. Stalling on the ledge, just waiting out this Arsene timer. Do not, do not interact with the big scary blue man. That's what they said at the blue man group, and yet I did it, and I got made fun of it for it. I don't, I don't want to know what happened. That sounds scary. They made fun of me for coming late. Oh. John now at the ledge. Once again, we haven't really seen any edge guards as of yet from Beats, but instead now John is the one finding the snipes with the soccer ball and the empty hop into the forward tilt. John now in a pretty commanding lead. Do we really want to give John all the credit for the edge guards? I mean, it's really the soccer ball doing all the work. It's got a mind of its own. I mean, sometimes Wii Fit Trainer is more like a puppet character with how much <laughs> that this soccer ball can do. Top tier Luma. <laughs> it really is. Soccer ball is just a better name wow. if you think about it. But what a pick. Even John's surprised. Yo. Did you see him looking around like, did, Can we get the long clip on that? Because that was a just like looking around being like, tell me you guys saw that. <laughs> What a kill! All right, and we're seeing Beats starting to assume position here at the ledge, trying to force a win Ooh, option. Just, yeah, Trap this is John. very scary. This is where John lost a lot of his stocks prior, but Arsene gone. John gets to breathe just a little bit easier. Oh Woo. my gosh, risking it all with the forward smash. Beats not taking any position that's going to put them in a bad position, but, you know, got a little excited there. A very risky deep breathing from John, but definitely paying out. <gasps> no! no! That's how game two ends? You're you, know You're you know what? You know what? It's unfortunate, but it did happen with Dill, and they were able to bring it back, but not this game, but they'll bring it back the next one. Yeah, I think Veets wanted to tether with that first one, but misspaced it just a little bit too high. Yeah, if they were closer uh, there. So I can maybe shed a little bit of light on this. This was definitely like a panic situation for Veets regardless, but like tether characters, when they do their up B, like the first one that they've done, Ariel, they get a tiny hop from it. Yeah. yeah. So like, you know, I'll point it out here, right? So like he'll do it up here and he'll do like a little jump. That, ah, right? Yes. And so, you know, because of like the panic situation, didn't realize that that wasn't going to happen and just kind of like maybe autopilot and went for the up B again. Oh. But since you don't get that little hop, by the time the grab box comes out, like he probably pressed it at the point where like the, 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 it would tether to the ledge, but because he's dropping, by the time the box comes out, it's, it's gonna no longer be in range. And like that's something that you can get kind of caught off guard. Oh, ah, no, good lord! Shit. Yeah, but uh, oh my gosh, almost missing the clip, but we got it. John Number is already down to second stock here. Thirty seconds into game three, Beats is not messing around. Sometimes you need to have that embarrassing moment on stream to, you know, give yourself the incentive to go hard yeah. as hell. You no, know, sometimes, game. sometimes you gotta humble yourself. It's like we said before, the hero's journey. You gotta get knocked down before you get back up. Yep, there's always light in the dark. There's always a darkness before the light. There's always a plot twist before the happy ending. <laughs> Beats, v I mean, Beats double, double eliminating John Numbers. I would call that the plot twist of the century. 
You know, Vita's got to repeat this whenever we get like another uh, Xeno Saga and like we have bounties on board. You know, he, he can take down John Numbers and Winners, go down to Losers, and then take more money. That's the real play. Alright, trying to poke with these Aegons, but unfortunately, finding a um, mid sun salutation for his troubles, and that's a lot of our send meter gone, but a fantastic Tetra card at the tail end of it. A really uh -oh. good call. Uh, no, I think, did V lose his jump somewhere in there? No, he just was down too low. I think if he had his jump, he would have been able to make it back. We didn't even see a, like an attempt of the, of the grapple hook. I, I think he just lost all momentum there. He's just like, I just want to move on. Which happened in the game with Dill. So, you know what? That stock, that stock wasn't needed. We're on to a better stock. The second stock. Moving on to better things indeed. But the low profile from the up tilt, keeping John safe from that, uh, that falling forward air. Okay, what do we see here? Guns coming out. A very safe option here, racking up that damage, 145. Beats not going out as deep as before, as we when we've seen him going for these edge guards. He really does want to risk another missed tether grab. They do have Arsene, but no longer. A absolutely fantastic spot dodge there from Beats. All right, some good on-the-spot thinking here. Ooh. All right, forward air killing from center stage. Vitz just needs one more stock yeah, to get to grand finals. That definitely looked like some not great DI from John trying to, like, DI away from a potential up air, like a drag down up air out of that situation. But Vitz catching it with the forward air is going to be sealing it. And now John only one stock away from being placed third here tonight. This is a make it or break it moment. John trying to go for the header spike. Beats has to maintain his cool. He needs to breathe. He's holding his breath. You can see his shoulders tense. You have the invincibility from the Wings of Rebellion keeping Beats alive here on this no second double jump. stock. Has Looking the for the coverage on the Aegon, but not even a chance to tech. And now we are one stock apiece, one stock away. We're going to see who gets to fight Dill in Grand Finals. All right, Beats definitely wanting this, wanting the, wanting the run back, wanting to show the world that uh, a robot is no match for a human. Okay, because he has to get through this robot first, this titan of Smash, John Numbers. Yeah, Beats kind of, you know, giving up these, like, huge edge guards, just getting, just settling for this gun ship damage off the side. I'm starting to see what he's going for, and what he's going for is just building up that uh, rebel meter. So he can actually oh. get Arsene, and instead of going off and risking an edge guard and getting spiked, he's just going to control center stage. He can do this. He finds the guns into the down air, and Vitz double eliminating John Numbers. New bracket demon alert. Listen, taking out John Numbers once, that's already like, Baller. You're, you're feeling good. But twice in ballin'. one night? Super ballin'. Turbo Deluxe Edition. And just this beautiful spike from the confirm with the guns. And John throwing his controller in frustration, knowing that they were doing everything they could to weave through the bullets. And yet, it was no match for that second spike of the game. And I want to, I want to, I think I want to attribute that to a bit of conditioning from Beats because, you know, oh, despite yeah. that. Oh, yeah, that was some really bad DI there from yeah, John. John was definitely trying to combo DI away from the, the a drag down up air. Yeah, you can but see him just kind of be like, ah, yeah, that was my bad. I do, I do think I want to attribute this set to Beats' conditioning because we did not see a lot of huge edge guard attempts outside of the first and third stock. So getting numbers to feel comfortable at ledge once again, you know, it's it's ledge's friend. It's where he feels the most comfortable. So if you're able to just like the just like the Phantom Thief does, he breaks in, he, he gets in your walls and he steals your heart. 